Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm not going to be too many mechanical things today because look at me, not covered in crap like I normally am. I've actually come back from having a massage. I smell like mint and clover right now. But uh, anyway, so I thought I'll shoot a video referring back to uh, what I think has happened to this motor. The destruction of number five piston that you all saw in the last video. Just get you a close up on this guy. You can see that's a, that's a real doozy that has, even to the point where the oil ring has kind of pressed itself into the oil, uh, the land there, ring land there, and obviously the land has just exploded. And uh, basically this video is to talk about what we think happened to this uh, this engine. Anyway, I decided to change it to my old clothes again. But <laughs> so I wanted to talk about um, why I think this has failed. I spoke to a few of you guys um, on the comments section and been thinking over it for a few days now. And I'm starting to not think that it's, uh, I'm starting to think it's not a blown head gasket. Um, main reason being is that um, all of the, um, upper wrist pins in all of eight cylinders are loose. Let me show you. What? Let's take a random, this is number four I think. And you can, this one is not one of the worst ones, but you can definitely hear it's loose. They're all like that. So, what to conclude from that? What I'm thinking is that back in the records, back uh, I've got a few uh, records from the previous owner that they did note that there was a leaky um, cold start valve. Now, whether it's external or internal, I'm not sure, but there was a problem with it. And what I'm thinking, if uh, obviously a fuel gets into the oil, it dilutes the oil, washes down the bores, the um, areas that need lubricating don't get properly lubricated because all the oil is being washed off or diluted because it's got fuel in there. May also be a faulty um, injection pump or injectors dribbling, that kind of thing, and doing much the same thing. And maybe this one had just given up the ghost. It had worn so much in the wrist pin it started to uh, slap in the bore, I'm thinking, and then just um, destabilize the rings and then explode, essentially. And I think that's what was starting to happen on number four cylinder, the other leaky one, because the top uh, compression ring was jammed in there as well. And I'm thinking uh, maybe that was going the same path. The lower end of the crank uh, is in pretty good shape. I mean, they're all within tolerances, so uh, 54.95. And I'm thinking because they're sloshing around in oil down the bottom all the time, and didn't have enough time. I'm sure it would have damaged it eventually, but didn't have, didn't have enough time to damage that. Um, so that is what I'm thinking. It was essentially diluted oil. And on top of that, just because of the place where I got this car and the indicators to me that the car wasn't well maintained, possibly left to run low on oil or long distances between oil changes, low quality oil, all manner of things, but I do think this is an oil related problem that happened to this car and thankfully we caught it in time and this is bad enough obviously but uh, we caught it in time to make some repairs and put it all back together again. So here's the uh, bottom of the engine again obviously and we've got uh, four main uh, connecting rod journals split into two obviously, uh, two connected per and this line there is just showing you the gap between them. So what I did, um, let's take this journal, I measured in three places on each section, so six on each journal. I measured straight across, obviously making sure I'm not hitting the oiler hole here. Um, so let's uh, show you how I, it's got a little, um, knurled handle at the top there so you don't over tighten and get an inaccurate reading so you just let that do its business and right across it's got a nice little drag there again and what we are coming in at is 
0.95 millimeters. Okay, we're not quite at 55. And from my understanding, that is standard. That is standard um, uh, bearing size because the bearings that will be used in our standard 55, so that gives us a 0.05 clearance. Uh, translates in uh, inch scale of around just over two thousandths of an inch uh, oil clearance and from my understanding a rough measuring a thousand in inches now a thousandths of an inch per two inches and a 55 mil this is just over two inches so that's around right so now to give you an idea I measured here like this right I measured here and also here all the way across on uh, each of the journals. So I took three measurements on each side, so about a series of 24 measurements, and across the board, 54.95. I think this one, I got a couple of 54.94 readings, but that may well, that's so close, that might be user, that might be me just not quite getting it just as that right, but very consistent across all of these journals, which is uh, really good. So that's standard. And obviously we can't get to these mains until I get the crank out. Uh, one more thing before I go, I want to show you the, uh, these are the uh, lower uh, connecting rod bearings from the bottom there. Now I don't know whether you can see, there's a little discoloration and starting to score there as they were starting to get some excessive wear on there and they're Looks some discoloration on the back here. Looks like it might have gotten hot. That's my take on it. Love to hear what you think. Uh, some very minor scoring on these shells at the bottom. So let's just hope the main crank journals are in good shape. Obviously I'm going to replace these. Uh, these are still available as a standard, obviously 55 mil standards. See the end there, it seems like there's some discoloration as though it's gone through a, a heat cycle or something you know and again still think it's diluted oil there you go so that's the bottom side of the bushing there if you can see and then we'll rotate it around so you can see the oh, which angle there we go top top side and to me that looks like that's been discolored there, maybe gone through. Obviously getting a lot less oil than the bottom side, I think. And that's why they cooked the wrist pins. That is, uh, that is it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. In the next video, we're going to be trying to attempt to pull this pulley off the front. Um, and uh, we'll go from there and get the crank out and move on to measuring all the main crank journals. Uh, and fingers crossed they're in good shape similar to the uh, um, the rod journal so uh, please hit like share subscribe and a few of you have spoken about uh, the group um, there is a Facebook group Mercedes maintenance and Mercedes record uh, rescue so please join us on there and if you've got any other questions that I can't answer lots of people on there with lots of knowledge that can um, I'm sure I'll help you. All right. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.